Hi everybody. Today I'm going to make McDonald's sweet and sour sauce at home, supposedly. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So you're trying with me. Because um, I'm having um, egg rolls with my supper tonight. And I like sweet and sour sauce on them. A lot of times we use duck sauce, but our duck sauce is different than most people's duck sauce. We, it's mostly just applesauce and soy sauce and stuff like that all mixed together. But tonight I want sweet and sour sauce. And I really like McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. So we're going to try it. Okay. So we're going with, I'm making a double batch because the batch they make on the video that I watched is very um, small. So I'm going to do a double batch. So we need ooh, a half teaspoon of mustard and make a big mess all over myself. And more hemi wipe. A little bit more. That's kind of And it says two tablespoons of corn syrup. I'm not big on corn syrup, but that's what it says to do. I think eventually I might switch it out for honey, but we'll see. There's one tablespoon. And they make theirs in a blender cup and blend it all together, I think, because of the cornstarch. But I'm just going to do it this way because I want to. Valid reason, Mom. Pretty good, huh? It is pretty good. Well, this way I only dirty like one or two dishes instead of 50. Well, unless you count the little measuring cup things. Well, yeah, but they use the little measuring cup things too, so that's okay. Okay. Right, two tablespoons of honey. Oh, I forgot to get a regular spoon. I suppose I need one. That, that was not honey. That was corn syrup. I would... You got me going on about honey. <laughs> Alright, that was two tablespoons of corn syrup. And it says... An eighth of a teaspoon of garlic, so I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And the package on McDonald's also says onion powder, and of course, wouldn't you know what? I'm out of onion powder. So, I guess that's not going in tonight. But, they don't have it in this recipe anyway, but that's what it says. And it says... Half teaspoon, so I'm going to use a whole teaspoon of soy sauce. Alright, so we've got a whole teaspoon of soy sauce. And we're going to put these in afterwards because that's not what they do on there, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, and it says five tablespoons of vinegar, so we're going to do ten. Oops, nine, and a little over. So we'll make this one a little under. There's ten. Good enough. And last but not least, it says a quarter cup of each thing. So I'm using a half cup of apricot preserves and a half cup of peach preserves. Hope this comes out good. You kid. 
kids don't know, because you kids won't eat sweet and sour sauce, you little weirdos. No. Immediately, no. So there's a half cup of peach. And we'll do a half cup of the apricot. Either way, I would think this would taste really good. Emma would have loved this recipe when she was little. She loved playing with slimy things. Slime was her ultimate favorite thing. I'm not little anymore. No, Emma. No, Miss Amazon, you are not. <laughs> She's way taller than me now, and yeah, I know. I'm admitting it on video. I really shouldn't be. Yeah, she's like 4'11". I am not 4'11". <laughs> I'm 5'7". According to my driver's license, I am still 5'5". Five five. Well, I'm 5'7", and I'm like a bajillion and just taller than you. And then it says... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't say shh. Quiet. <laughs> Be quiet. All right. And then it says one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. So we're gonna go with three, of course. Should have made my daughter did that out part of her homeschool. Well, you did. Okay, shut up. And it says two tablespoons of water, so we're going with four. I think the reason why they do it in the blender cup is so they don't have to worry about the cornstarch being chunky, but if you mix it with cold water, it won't be chunky. Oh, probably maybe the jam should be done in a thing if you don't want chunkies. I don't mind chunkies. And then it says to cook it all and bring it up to a boil and boil it for five minutes. And I'm just whisking it all together. Alright, probably would have been easier in a blender cup, I don't know. But the gel, jelly jam, whatever I use, preserves, will melt down when it gets hot anyway, so I'm not worried about it. And it is a pretty good color. I'll go turn on the other light, see if I've got it. <laughs> you always I forget, forget this too. light is over here. It's hidden. <laughs> I guess it's one of the little hidden parts of our house. But anyway, we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to boil it for five minutes, it says. So that's what we're going to do, and we'll be back in five minutes to give it a taste test and see if it even comes close. Hi, everybody, and we're back with our finished sauce, and I thought it came out really, 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 really thin when the five minutes was up, and I like my sauces a little bit thicker, so I added one more teaspoon of cornstarch and water and it thickened up nicely and I know it's going to thicken up when I put it in the refrigerator to store it but it doesn't bother me I like them thicker so they stick to whatever I'm eating and I have my egg rolls here and we're going to give it a try and see it sticks very well Got a great texture, great mouthfeel. Stuck to my egg roll. Would be wonderful on little chicken nuggets, of course. Does it taste like McDonald's? 
it's very, 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 very close. Um, me liking the tart puckeriness that I do, I would probably add another tablespoon or so of vinegar because I like things really tart. This would be perfect probably for my son if he eats sweet and sour sauce. I don't know if he does. I think he does. Good question. But I would definitely give this a try either way because either way, it's a really good sauce. It tastes great. Maybe I would like a little pineapple juice or something added to it. It'd do a little bit more sweetness. The sweet to go along with the puckery, you know? But that's what I do. Give it a try. I'll put the link that I use the recipe off from in the description. And if you haven't hit my subscribe button, hit my subscribe button so you can get more of these wonderful little recipes. And thank you for watching and have a great day.